look at reintroducing fire substitutes whenever the Premier League clubs decide to get together and to take the decision. Originally, of course, they did introduce it back in June when the league restarted. That was because they had the approval from FIFA and IFAB, the rule makers, to be able to um, use an additional two subs because of this congested calendar and then they extended it to be permitted right the way through into this season so other leagues and competitions have taken it up like the Bundesliga, like the Champions League and Europa League but in England of course it was not retained by uh, the Premier League and that shows actually the big clubs don't have all the power because it needs 14 sides to approve any changes in the Premier League and it led to the smaller clubs deciding actually we don't want to give those uh, more powerful squads with an even greater advantage by allowing them to make uh, so many changes from their strength on the bench but as we've seen Pep Guardiola is amongst those managers saying that uh, he wishes they could bring on more subs and we're seeing with this so many games particularly Champions League in three consecutive weeks that there's a real strain on the players and injuries are being picked up so what it takes is for the powerful clubs in the Premier League to convince those smaller clubs to back them on this one and to allow them to uh, reintroduce the uh, the five subs. Do you think that the latest report on the muscle injury might convince the smaller club that maybe it's time to reinstate their games? There's always strong health reasons to retain five substitutes into this season. It's the reason that FIFA and the rulemakers originally allowed two additional subs for the restart because there are so many games being packed into a congested calendar and for many of these players a season that began in September will not finish until next July assuming there's no disruption further caused by the pandemic so with the Champions League being played in three consecutive weeks then going off onto international games as well there's so much football to fit in and that puts a strain on the body and also the mental fatigue as well um, one former player Karen Carney was actually saying this weekend that she believes she got injured based on bad decision making when tired and it just shows that uh, there are significant health reasons why the, the, the elite clubs need to present the case to the smaller clubs just why it might be needed but do they want to see any potential uh, advantage that they hand uh, their more powerful clubs